Mm. So, yesterday I got this sweet new lens, and I'm super pumped to show you guys what it does. Well, it doesn't really do anything special, but it's awesome, and it's super wide. It's, it's like wider than my car's booty, and that's wide. Get this sucker turned on. I love it. I'm so pumped right now. Look at this, you can see everything. It's so pretty. Uh, three wheels, oh yep. Got it. As you guys just saw, um, I'm pretty pumped. I got a uh, lens yesterday. I got a wide angle lens. I'm pretty pumped about that. I've wanted one for a very long time as I was pretty, you, you guys saw, I was pretty, pretty dang excited about that. Um, but yeah, I got one yesterday. It actually wasn't, uh, the one that I got wasn't originally the one that I wanted. But, um, oh well, it's okay. I ended up just getting that one anyways. Um, I just wanted a wide angle lens for videoing and stuff like that because I've been using my standard 18 to 55 that I got with the camera and it just hasn't been cutting it, hasn't been cutting it for me. Plus, the sick, sweet little rolly shots that I took, um, whatever it was, like two months ago in November, um, those were with a 10 millimeter lens and this is a 10 millimeter lens. So, pretty pumped, pretty pumped. And um, as I'm talking right now, I'll go ahead and show you guys my super, super, super dirty car. It is disgustingly dirty and I can't believe I've let it get to that point, but it's been really cold and really weird and really stupid lately. I've absolutely hated it. It's been really weird. So today, like right now, it's, it's like 55 or 60 degrees. I don't even know why I'm wearing a jacket. I think it's because whenever I checked the weather 30 minutes ago, it said it was 45, but you know, whatever, it's all good. Um, but yeah, last Sunday night, it started snowing in the middle of the night. And the day before that, it was like 70. I was wearing shorts last week and it like snowed a little bit overnight, one of the nights last week, but it wasn't anything on the ground Monday, so we had to go to, uh, to class still, so that kind of sucked. But uh, yes, I did get a new lens, and I'm super pumped to use it. I'm not using it right now. I use the GoPro for the car stuff, as I tell you guys, as I tell some of you guys that all the time, but um, I'm gonna be using that for all the nice cinematic stuff. I might eventually get a uh, in-car mount for the camera, but as of right now, nope. I like using my GoPro. The GoPro is nice because it's like it's small and it's it's just easy to mount. It's easy to take down. You don't have to. I don't have to worry about it if I just like chunk it in my glove box. I don't really care. Like it's it's just a nice little camera. It's convenient to use. So I'm driving to class right now. It is like 12. So um, long story short, I I usually don't do this. Actually, I'm really good about waking up on time. Oh pothole. Oh, there we go. I'm usually really good about waking up on time, but I definitely didn't even hear my alarm this morning. So my my first class is accounting. It's like accounting too. It's not just like the regular ones. So it's like managerial accounting. And I hate missing that class because there's so many terms that we learn in class that like I can't just try, well, I can just teach myself, but I, don't, I just don't like missing class. I'm not one to skip class just because I want to. Um, but yeah, I have that. And then I have like a business law class after that. Right now, I'm going to, so our university is really weird. So we have this thing called student instruction, SI for short. And it's, it's a class outside of class where you get taught by a student, like a, not, not like a grad student. So it's, it's like a, anybody actually, like my roommate, one of my roommates actually teaches uh, an SI course. Um, and you have to have an A in the class to teach it. But I'm going, it's, it's, I'm in a data analysis class right now and it's actually pretty fun. I, I enjoy, I really enjoy doing, working with numbers like that. But most people get that confused with like statistics. It's a lot, it's, it's a statistics class, but it's a lot harder. Like you use a lot of data tables and stuff like that. And you're basically taking, like you take, you get surveys and you, you find all these crazy numbers and you use a lot of Greek symbols. It is nuts. But anyways, I'm going to that right now, and it's pretty fun. Our teacher's pretty cool. He's like a senior. He's been a, at a fraternity like the entire time he's been here, and that's not really relevant. It's not why he's cool, but and I know this is going to be asked. I'm not in a fraternity, so I just wanted to make that clear. I don't know. I felt like that was going to be asked, but yeah, I'm going to school. That was a really long conversation about me just going to school. But so okay, I'm going to talk about a couple things. First, I forgot to mention it last week, um, or last vlog that I made last week. Uh, I got I got these words down this morning. My mouth my mouth wants to work today. <laughs> so, 
my buddy, Chris Webb, the one that I always take pictures with, the guy with the white RSX, goes to school up here. Most of you guys know that. If you don't know who he is, he's on my Instagram sometimes. I went to high school with him. We're buddies for a lot. We've been buddies for a long time. Um, I got him, uh, we, uh, sorry, APSX, I think it's APSX Innovations, I can't remember, but APSX is a company that makes wideband um, uh, air to fuel uh, uh, gauges, and we are going to be installing that. They so graciously bestowed that upon me, but I already have one, so we're giving it to my buddy with the RSX, and we are going to make an install video on that. So, in the description, like I put last time, even though I didn't mention it, go ahead and check out their website if you do want, uh, or if you're interested in a non super expensive wideband like it's an actual function it's an actual functional wideband that you can customize different colors and stuff like that um, I'm super OCD so if I had one AEM and another one that's not 80 AEM I would probably poop my pants every time I got in the car but anyways that's gonna be done I don't know when he's an engineering major so he's at school like 25 hours a day eight days a week um, so it's kind of hard to fit that in our schedule, but eventually we will do it. And also, what to look forward to. This weekend, I'm going on a cruise. Not like a boat cruise, but like a car cruise. Like we're, we're getting a bunch of people and we're going on a cruise. And oh my God, like my pet peeve is whenever I get text after text after text after text. And it's just, my pocket is exploding right now. And I can't even, I, I just, I can't even. It's like a white girl. I'm, I, I don't even know right now. I'm going on a cruise and I'm really kind of upset, but I'm also super pumped because uh, Scott, the guy with the GT500 was gonna go with us and his GT500 has as of recently been like rebuilt and it makes a lot more power. It's like 700 or something like that to the wheels. So that's pretty dang cool, um, but he's not gonna be there. But good news is I get to drive it again. So I'm not gonna be in my car for the cruise and I'm still getting texts. What is going on in the phone world right now? This is nuts. Anyways. Now that you've witnessed me rage this morning, um, I'm going to continue talking about that. So we're going on that. It's on Saturday. There's going to be a bunch of people. I'll get a bunch of footage. We're going to go on some cool roads, lots of cool people, and it'll be nice. And I get to go fast in a Shelby. But I'm not going to be reviewing it that day. I, I will start reviewing cars. Oh, yeah. On to the next point. I'm going to start reviewing uh, my friend's cars and driving them around. Maybe not so much review, but I'm just going to be farting around in my friend's cars making them look awesome, making their bills look awesome, and just being my stupid self. I'm driving around enjoying life in some race cars. So I've got lots of friends with lots of cars, and I wanna start, uh, I'm going to try and start reviewing those, starting with the GT500, and then a couple other things after that. So be prepared for that. I'm trying to figure out a good day to do a day in the life video as well. I mean, it's harder than you think. I mean, I just don't like, uh, there's, uh, man, I just, I want to, I don't want to sound like the most boring human being on the planet, but like my days aren't very exciting most of the time. Like I go to school, I do homework, and then like I play Xbox till I fall asleep sometimes. I'm not even kidding. That's my day sometimes. <laughs> but uh, so, yeah, whatever, I'll figure something out. I will start trying to do uh, a couple day in the life videos every now and then. Um, that'll be a bunch of fun and I'll make some random car videos and make some, you know, I don't even, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so also, random note, uh, a lot of you guys love my new intro. I do too. I can't stop watching it because I think it's the most funny thing in the world. Um, so uh, I'm going to have to thank my buddy Blaze for, for giving me that idea. That was funny. So we were on, I was just, I was sitting there talking to him one day. And I was like, man, I've never had an intro, and it kind of it's kind of weird. Like I've I've gotten this far, and never had anything to start my videos off with. He's like, you should just do like a Microsoft Paint and just make it like as stupid as possible. And I was like, that's actually a genius idea. So I did that, but I also added my own twist, put some farting sounds, and then a room in there with my mouth. So that's funny. I'm glad you guys like it because apparently you guys love it. Well, that was sweet of him to let me go, even though it's state law. I'm supposed to let you go. He's probably going to sue me now. All right, parking garage time. I probably just made somebody poop their pants, which is okay. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. Oh. I'm never this much of a douche whenever I drive in parking garages, unless I'm making a video. Okay, no. Okay, I take that back. I, I like to be really loud a lot. It's fun. I mean, from the general public's perspective, yeah, I probably look like some giant douche. 
but that's okay because I love, I just, I'm so happy whenever that happens. And so, yeah, whenever I take my seatbelt off this time, I'm not going to make it smack into the windshield and then have some awkward outro next time. But yeah, I also have that. Uh, speaking of awkward outros, I have a new outro for my not so, well, for the videos that aren't vlogs, I have an outro and it's pretty funny. Anyways, I figured, you know what? Like, I'm good at doing like all the editing stuff, but you know, I also have this weird sense of humor that I never get to expose on the internet. So I just expose it and I could care less if people think it's weird or the most funny thing ever. I would rather you think it's the most funny thing ever, but I don't care what you think. It's me. I gotta make this all weird now. Okay, can I go the wrong way? Wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Wrong way, wrong way. Yep. Oh, car coming. Okay, now I am in class. I'm ready to go study some data analysis. I'm gonna go number my brain off. Okay, on that note, I'm just gonna end it. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys probably on Saturday, unless I make a video before then. Peace out, and I'll see you next time. Subscribe. <laughs> this thing didn't come off. What the heck, man? Oh, it's got like teeth, it's got sharp teeth. Check that out. It's, got, it's like, blah. I just realized you can't, you guys can't hear me unless I'm pointing it this way. Like, uh. Anyways, peace out. Drop the mic.